Topic 5, Lesson 1, Arrays and Multiplying by 10 and 100. Well, so far, you know how to use arrays to model multiplication facts. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use arrays to multiply by 100, which can also be applied to multiplying by 10s. Our standard is multiply a whole number up to four digits by one digit whole number and multiply two digit numbers using strategies based on place value and the properties of operations and you can illustrate and explain the calculation by using equations rectangular arrays and our area models we're going to be using mathematical practices to one construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others model with mathematics, use appropriate tools strategically, and look for and make use of structure. And our focus is, how can you use arrays to multiply by 100? And again, be applied to multiplying by 10. So here's our problem. We have one section of bleachers in a tennis stadium, and it holds 100 people. And there are six sections like this in the stadium how many seats are there all together so we have one section by itself that holds a hundred people and if there are six sections like this then how many people can there be all together so we have six sections with a hundred seats each and we can kind of draw it out like this notice I have one two three four five and six boxes and we can easily just go ahead and add 100 to each section. And we get this written in here nice and easy. And we can actually figure it out from there. We actually have 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 and plus 100. So we have six of them. And what do we get? Well, we get 600. So in other words, what we're saying is 6 times 100 equals 600. So here we have place value blocks, uh, but we also have, we can just add it out, and then we actually even have multiplication. So there are several ways you could actually come up with the same answer, but in different ways. Now try some on your own. Good luck.